So with that snow in the forecast, the Packers are asking for the help of hundreds of snow shovelers for Sunday morning. NBC 26's Eric Crest has the update live from Lambeau Field tonight. Eric? John, if you have any desire to get inside Lambeau Field this Sunday, but you don't have a ticket, the good news is an opportunity has just come up. The bad news, you won't be able to stay for the game. It typically happens a couple times every season. Green Bay gets slapped with a bunch of snow, and the Packers have to lean on the public for some help. Actually, for the Redskin game, I volunteered to come out and uh, shovel the snow, so uh, that was pretty awesome doing that, then going to the game, so that was a great experience. Well, the Packers are asking for shovelers once again, requesting that as many as 700 people show up to their Fleet Farm gate at 6 a.m. Sunday morning, all in anticipation of 6 to 12 inches of fresh snow waiting for their shovelers. That'll be interesting. Um, not a weather expert, not a snow shoveling expert, but if it's light and fluffy, they can move it quick. Volunteers tell us they have worked as many as three to five hours shoveling for the Packers in the past. Man, it was like three hours. The whole stadium was done. And that's a good thing, considering the snow should quit falling by 9 a.m. and we have a 5.30 kickoff on Sunday night. And if it's on the seats a bit, I'll just bring some cardboard to sit on and make do. Uh, as long as the Packers win, that's the main thing. The shoveling gig pays too, 12 bucks an hour. But as most Packer fans will tell you, they do it for the experience. I'm not thinking I am gonna do it again. They need some help out here, I'm coming out here. Now, if you do plan on shoveling, keep in mind you have to be 18 years old or older, and you can bring no bags or purses inside. And just like all the other folks who are walking in later in the evening, everyone will have to walk through a metal detector. At Lambeau Field, Eric Crest, NBC 26. Could be part of the game day experience. Okay, Eric, thanks so much. Well, late this afternoon.